And I would like to give the floor to John Lobor, Secretary General of the South Sudan Red Cross, to introduce the progress report on Resolution 5 of the 2019 Council of Delegates, International Red Cross and Recrescent Movement Policy on Addressing Mental Health and Psychosocial Needs. It's the item 19 of the agenda of the Council of Delegates. John, you have the floor. Okay. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Allow me to take the floor on behalf of the following national societies and ICRC and Federation. The Australian Red Cross, the Azerbaijan Red Crescent Society, the Belgian Red Cross, the Brazilian Red Cross, the British Red Cross, the Canadian Red Cross, the Red Cross Society of China, the Colombian Red Cross, the Croatian Red Cross, the Cyprus Red Cross Society, the Danish Red Cross, the French Red Cross Society, the Kenyan Red Cross, the Liberian Red Cross Society, the Swedish Red Cross, the Swiss Red Cross, the Syrian Arab Red Crescent, the IFRC, the ICRC, and on my own national and on, on my own national society, the South Sudan Red Cross. Every day, the international Red Cross and recreation movement around the world is confronted with the extensive and met mental health and psychosocial needs of the people we serve. Needs that increase dramatically during armed conflicts, disasters, and crises, and other emergencies. While physical wounds may heal, emotional wounds can linger on, can linger longer after. They often remain hidden, but the heart is raw and ever present. In the movement, mental health and psychosocial support continues to be, a high, to be high on the agenda. A resolution and a mental health psychosocial support policy were adopted by consensus at the 2019 International Conference. The policy sets the standards on movement response to mental health and psychosocial needs. In order to advance on, this, on those commitments, in 2020, we developed a roadmap to implement this resolution and policy and to step up access to quality services across the diverse context in which we operate. Currently, an interim coordination and the steering committee structure oversee and coordinate the implementation of the mental health and PSS policy and roadmap. There are also five working groups composed of dozens of representatives from different national societies, IFRC and the ICRC, that meet regularly to advance on the ambitious roadmap priority action areas because we want to ensure words translate into action. Hence, the reason for informing the 2022 Council of Delegates on the latest progress on the processes towards establishing a Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement Mental Health and the Psychosocial Support Hub and the wish to include mental health and psychosocial support as an agenda item for the next Council of Delegates. We acknowledge that the real realization of the movement's mental health and psychosocial support commitment is dependent on a movement wider represent representative and sustainable governance structure that can pursue these ambitions further. In order to ensure the proper continuation of this process, at the end of 2021, it was decided to set up a governance structure to allow the resources needed for the movement to continue advancing on the ambition to make mental well-being not a luxury for some, but a right for everyone, including staff and volunteers. This new structure was discussed and endorsed by the Director General of the ICRC, the Secretary General of the IFRC, the Danish and Swedish Red Cross during a virtual meeting held on the 15th of November 2021, and it comprises a leadership, a leadership group the Coordination Group and the Red Cross Recreation Movement Mental Health and Psychosocial Hub. Today, we wish to take the advantage of meeting you all here and invite any interested national society to join the future coordination and leadership groups. The new adopted structure includes and recognizes the current five roadmap working groups as the implementation force and comprise the reactivation of the mental health and the PSS reference group, which is composed of several national society that actively supported the development of the mental health and psychosocial movement policy and resolution. Thank you, Mr. Chair.